Hundreds of Uber taxi drivers took to the streets to demonstrate over the reduction of prices introduced by the management of the African firm. <laughs> Waving placards with different messages during the protest, they expressed their misgivings over the latest turn of events. Uber drivers have threatened to move to other farms, saying that the new rates will reduce their daily earnings. But on the other hand, Uber general manager Nate Anderson has defended the decreased rates, saying the move will increase demand. Dropping the price by almost 40%, not even 35% that they are telling people. If you do your simple math, you see that it's almost 41%. And that is going to affect our businesses very, very negatively. And we'll not be able to make a return on investment. We'll, be able, we'll not be able to replace our cars next year when, our, when they require us to replace our cars. So we want them to hear this voice of reason. The agitated drivers have been on a go slow since Friday over the newly announced low rates. And come Tuesday morning, they made good the threats by turning the phones off, causing a three-hour surge in prices. Riders are paying more because most drivers are offline and there's a surge all over Nairobi. Surge going up to 2.9%. That means you're paying more than you used to pay even before the price cut. So even clients out there should look at their their money that they are spending on Uber right now, if it makes any sense. The drivers are now questioning why the firm did not consult them before implementing the new rate whose ultimate beneficiary is the passenger. The management of Uber taxi services argue that, in fact, the decision to lower the amount charged on passengers will spur demand. Last week, the online taxi company announced a 35% fare reduction in a move aimed at attracting more passengers. A client now pays 35 shillings per kilometer from 60 shillings and 3 shillings for internet services down from 4 shillings. On the other hand, short trips are now charged 200 shillings down from 300 shillings. Uber drivers are now paid 150 shillings for peak hours and 450 shillings for 69 off peak hours as compensation unlike in the past. Ship up or ship out. That means that Uber company has until the end of this week to address some of the grievances that have been raised by their partners. For Channel 1 News, I'm Brenda Zeda Radido.